Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy, and today we're going to start into it. It's going to be short and sweet. Um, so, in the chapel, commit to commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Proverbs 16:3. So, I am turning everything over to God right now. Um, even sometimes when I think I'm smarter than He is, yeah, I'm turning it all over. So. Um, we'll get into that here in a little bit, but in the basket, I don't have a whole lot in the basket. Um, I have, oop, hang on, I'm dropping, um, I have this little thing and I've decided I'm just going to make a big old square out of any, uh, leftovers that I have and it's going to be Hitch's bed. Um, it just, it's going to be a big old square Hitch bed. But I'm tired of having scraps around. Try to, tired of looking for um, patterns to use them on. So, yeah. Just going to make a big gold hitch bed. It'll have a little bit of pink and blue and grays and whites and whatever. Um, the other thing. Let's see. You guys have seen this before. It's just getting longer. That That's it. It's the kit that I have. Um. And it just continues to get longer. Um, I'm down to just this much yarn. Yeah. So it will be done. I don't know. I can't remember the length of it. But it's kind of a boring pattern. Um, I don't know. I just. I've had issues with being bored lately. So been working on that. And then um, you guys remember the gift of yarn and pa uh, patterns that I was gifted. It's this yarn, and then I've got the purple, okay? So this is like a real pale off-white, almost to yellow sometimes when you put it up against something, but it looks more like an off-white. And this is a real pale lilac color. And you'll see them together here in a minute. Um, you know my love of ponchos, so I started just a super simple square poncho, and it's gonna be long. Um, let me see, I'm trying not to pull out my stitches right there but yep yeah. and it's just gonna be a cute little it's gonna be a whole lot longer though um oops there we go so and this is as far as I've gotten so far and yeah I'm just kind of I read one pattern kind of looked at one oh that's doable and then I changed a few things so yeah it's a super simple poncho I think is what it's called. I, I'm really not sure what it was called. I just googled one, kind of liked it, and then adapted it for what I wanted. So it will be super cute. And like I said, it does occasionally look yellow. And I'm not sure it says the color on here. Um, it says the shade is Ecru. It almost looks yellow at times, so I don't know. So it's going to be Ecru and Lilac. And it's going to be a whole lot longer and it'll be a poncho a very loose light airy poncho compared to um some of the heavier winter ones that i had been making for christmas gifts so i've got that um let's see the and i'm not really sure where this fits in so i'm just going to throw it in here i finished the rug um it is right here and so it turned out a little longer than I wanted it to be. So what I did was I scrunched it and just made it more poopy. So I made it a little bit tighter. So there it is. And I just wanted it, it's for a, a bed. It's for right in front of the bed. And that thing is heavy. It's super soft, but super heavy. So, um, I'm really liking it. It's a Christmas gift and it goes in the tote. But anyway, so I got that one done. I've been working on those. Um, on the wheel, I have, let's see here. I'm not very organized today. You can see I still have my work shirt on. So on the wheel, I have been spinning that gray. I have two bobbins full so far of this and I still have this to go. I'm gonna finish this up and then ply it as a two ply. <sighs> And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It'll depend on what, um, how much I get out of it. But 
it'll become something. It hasn't struck me yet. I just, I don't know. I wanted to spin it. Comes down to that. Um, and I also finished this. And it was, the. It, I only got like 218 yards of a two-ply out of it. It wasn't very big and it wasn't very much. But it's a fun novelty type yarn. So I spun it. And it's actually like a, a pinkish red. It, it's almost like a hot pink. So, um, that is what I've been spinning. Uh, I've only had time in the evening to, um, crochet a little bit or spin a little bit, uh, for the fact that, you know, I, I'm going to skip right over in the pots. I haven't dyed anything in the fields. I planted some strawberry plants out in the grow tower. Everything got killed the last frost. I'm just going to shop farmer's markets. The, the garden is gone this year. It's not going to happen. Um, greenhouse toppled over in the storms and then we had a really late freeze and yeah so the only thing that I have that I've grown myself was some cat grass for a friend of mine and some sage that's it so yeah anyway so the in the fields is gone for this year okay now in RJ's world and in the field, farmhouse I have quite a bit okay um for those of you, I know there's so many social medias out there, and I don't expect you to follow all of them. But for those of you who follow Facebook, um, you know that Coop had an issue. She went under the knife today and had surgery. And for the first time, we had a major thing, and I wasn't there. So RJ handled it all on his own. She has had a mass removed from her shoulder. like It would be like right here they got it all she has stitches and a drain tube um it's been a trying time because rj hasn't been able to rope on her rj hasn't been able to do anything we got a long haul ahead of us um that's why i said i'm leaning on god for everything i'm just turning it over to him um the mass was sent to k-state to be evaluated of course they just cut it out of her today we, we did a biopsy a couple of weeks ago found out she had to have surgery and then got her in as quick as we could get the money together we're not rich people and you know it's pretty costly so um yeah coop is home as of about 11 30 12 o'clock today she got home um the surgery was finished by 10 30 and RJ took it slow getting her home. He stopped and got pine shavings to make sure that that's what she's in. She'll be in the barn for the next couple of weeks. Um, we'll know in about five days if the, so they, they removed a mass and it was attached to the skin. So they had to remove the skin. So what they did was they loosened the skin over her muscle because her muscle was exposed. They put in a drain tube they perforated her skin and stretched it over the hole with the drain tube in it. The tricky part is not getting it too tight. If it is too tight in five days, it's all going to die away anyway, and she'll have to go back to the vet. If it takes, she will heal faster, she'll be better off. And we don't have to go back to the vet except for the follow-up to have the stitches removed in two weeks. So pray that her skin isn't too tight and that it doesn't bust open or start to die away. Um, ask for strong, strong healing for her. And when all this is over, she'll be 100% sound again. So it's just one of those things and it. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. You guys know I hate for our animals to be hurting or have anything happen to them. So, yeah, it's breaking my heart. RJ handled it like a champ, and she's home. That's, you know, all I can say is she's home. And that, to me, is a big feat. So, that's been going on. Um... In the farmhouse, we've been taking care of some bookkeeping. We got the taxes done. You know, that's always a stressful time for me. And this year, because of the start of the new job, um, 
it was hard for me to get there and get it done. But as of yesterday, everything's signed, everything's filed, everything, I'm done. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but yeah, it, I'm done. So, um, the other thing that's been going on and what I've been doing in my spare time, if I haven't been crocheting or spinning anything right now, um, I've been working on the front room. We ripped down all of the wallpaper and I have a clip of that and if I can get it to go from my phone, find it, I lost it earlier, uh, find the clip, I'll take it from my phone in here and you'll see it right here. Okay, so I want to make a quick little video because I'm working on the house today. This is the wallpaper and this is done in steps just so you can see. Um, I scored it a little bit here and there. Took anything off that I could get off by just pulling. It left that paper backing. Um, you can see there's a big piece up there that's, you know, got everything on it. Then I took and I sprayed it down with fabric softener and water. And literally, guys, it, it will just scrape right off. You can see that up there. And once the fabric softener loosens the glue, and this is just one-handed because I'm videoing, but it just peels right off. It's not hard work, but, and it'll come off in big chunks now. Um, if you don't score it and remove that other part right there, it's twice as much work. You, it takes longer for the fabric softener to get through. I have a piece right up here that didn't come off, and I dread those because it literally is a lot of scrubby little work. So, anyway, when you get done, you have a nice sheet rocked wall. Um, I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper and I'm going to scrub all the trim. It's actually supposed to be this light color and I'm going to scrub all of this trim and then I'm going to paint it, ceiling and all. So, um, yeah, it, I'm just going to paint everything. There's not a whole lot. The ceiling looks really good. So, I do have to scrub the vent because I don't want it to be that color. I want it to be nice and sharp and bright. Um, I do think, <clears throat> I think we're gonna leave this fixture for now, but I don't know. Anyway, there is my little, what I'm doing on the house today. Okay, don't even know if you saw that. I'm simply recording and if it gets in there, it gets in there. Hopefully it did. Um, the other thing that is going on is I have start now to sand the walls. So um, we put up some swatches in each corner. Roommate and I are not agreeing on a color. Um, beige came up, but I'm the one that is scrubbing everything and everything has old nicotine. This house is really old and it has old nicotine and old dingy and I like a crisp more. I don't want white. But I like a little gray. I wanted to put some gray. Honestly, it's even lighter than this gray. You know, this part that looks white is not white. It's gray. And, um, yeah, I want a white ceiling with gray walls. And roommate's like, mm, I don't know, maybe a beige or cream or taupe. And I was like, eh, I'm not much of a color kind of person. So we've got a couple of corners and we've used different lights and we're looking at them for two or three days before we decide. Um, so I'm still in the sanding process of sanding those walls and getting them and then we're going to use a really thick napped roller and just hide all the imperfections. I mean it's not a big deal but it's a lot of work. So I will tell you one thing is I found out that um, fabric softener and water, that little trick you read on about fabric softener and water, soak your wallpaper and that stuff comes off like a champ so even the landlord was talking and she said that um she thought the wallpaper was from the 1970s so that i know that sounds terrible that's 50 years old i took off wallpaper that was 50 years old and it doesn't sound old to me because I was raised in the 70s and 80s and I'm not old. So <laughs> anyway, so I know it's short and sweet guys, but I just don't have a lot of time. I'll get it uploaded. Um, I'm still considering the spinning thing. I don't 
know. I haven't really had time to think about it. So if you have any ideas for another giveaway, let me know and we'll address it because I definitely want to keep giving back. Um, we're blessed enough to, to be able to do this and so I want to give back but unfortunately I've had a lot going on with the farm, the house, um, which we call the farm and then my house that I'm living in and then my job. Um, I've only been there a month. Yeah, seems like longer but well I guess now it's so the 19th I was there a month and this is I'm recording this on the 3rd and I missed a week in there so I guess it's been six weeks now or pretty close to it so um, yeah but I love it don't get me wrong uh, Hitch is still around here Hitch has a flea issue we've been treating the house I don't know if it's just because the house is old the house doesn't have fleas I treat it like every other night and it was stuff that's supposed to last 12 months and he went to my office and um, we uh, I got him in to see the vet and the vet gave him some stuff and he just really had him bad his coat is real thick and you can pet on him and never feel him they don't jump on you anything because his thick his coat is thick down towards the skin so he's been getting baths like every other day and we've been washing his bedding every day we're not finding fleas around the house but I don't want fleas around the house so he's been treated um, so and this time I used a chewable capsule instead of that stuff we were putting that stuff that goes down their back on him and it wasn't helping him at all um, he was just massive it keeps the tick he doesn't have that one tick on him you know so I'm doing something right but the fleas are kicking his butt so anyway He's doing good, uh, washing things, and like I said, I just got off today, and I've got to work a full day tomorrow, and I did have Memorial Day off, too. I got a holiday off, so yeah, I might have actually even gotten paid for it. I'm not sure, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to let you guys off of here. I know it's short and sweet, but I just wanted to check in. If you have an idea for some kind of spinning giveaway, let me know. We will talk at y'all later, and I'll see you on the flip side, guys. Bye.